Good evening, fellow punters. A bit earlier this evening, the clock on the wall says 20 past seven. Neighbours' dogs are looking for me to go for a walk. They're barking, they're, they're gone away and need to be fed. And I have a lawn to mow as well. So I'm going to get that done. And Yanks to say goodbye to as well. They're flying out tomorrow. So we'll get this out of the way. Um, a good start to the day with Marshman winning over in France. Um, it was 2-1 to one last night. He was even money this morning. And the money finished up. <clears throat> nice little horse that um, probably one more run before the Commonwealth Cup at Ascot. Uh, whether it'll be good enough for that remains to be seen. Um, Donnick O'Brien's horse ran well uh, to be second. Uh, it was a nice forecast. The two Farton horses against the the locals. And then jump the shark drifted all day and i said this doesn't look well like yesterday i don't like to see jps on the uh on the slide and late money for it change of tactics out in front i don't know what was that about uh he tried to get the better ground um and you'd imagine if his Full brother is what unites us. Uh, ran well enough on soft, but probably his best performance was on yielding or in, or in good ground. So, whether he'll improve for a fence, he probably will. But uh, I, I I believe in him alone. I think for his next couple of runs. So it was a pity. He he traded low. He traded five to four in running, um. But he he uh, he got bogged down in the last half mile. But uh, not not too bad of a day. To get one up out of two, I suppose. But it would be nice if the two came up. I have three for tomorrow. Try to keep it. I had seven. But reduced it to three. Uh, and seven marked out the last, we said, two nights ago. Two of them would have been at Goran that I had picked uh, the last day. But I, um, it, they're first, up, first run up this, se this season. Which one of them there is Shona May. Uh, but it's a bit risky. Uh, it's a big price though. And uh, the other one was Grecian Slipper in the 5.13. I had that picked the last day. Now, it opened up 11 to 2 there with uh, the green bookie. It's into fours now, but it, it opened up with 3.65 at 5 to 2. There was a big uh, disparity between the prices there at the start. But there's a, it's, a, it's a tricky sort of a race. You don't know who's fit and who's not. So watch the money for that tomorrow. Uh, we are going to... Newmarket. The Earl of Sefton Stakes. A nine furlong race on soft ground. The hot favourite there is Poker Face. But Ottoman Fleet I had marked out and he opened up 7-2 to two earlier. It's Charlie Appleby, in the last 21 days, he's had uh, 14 runners. He's had six winners and five places. That's fairly getting the job done. Um, but this horse has won a listed race, has ran in Group 3 and Group 2 in Medan. It's fit. Uh, but its best run was on soft ground. Where are we? Here we go. He's with the white hat, the white cap, in the blue colours. Into this, Ottoman Fleet is looking for a gap or two, just about managing to force its way through one now, and still travels very strongly inside the final two. And it's Ottoman Fleet now to Royal Fleet. Then Migration on the far side, followed by Algiers and Savvy Victory, who's trying to stay on as well. But it's Ottoman Fleet, who was waited with early, has always travelled very strongly, and now goes on by a couple of lengths to Royal Fleet, who's only one paced in second. Then Migration in third, racing up towards the line in the battle of the fleets. The Ottomans were successful. Ottoman Fleet the winner to Royal Fleet in second. Savvy Victory finished in third. By that was the only time he encountered uh, soft ground. And it was a really good race, I thought, because you had Algiers. That finished second in the World Cup this year. And you had uh, Migration, who won the Lincoln this year. And you had... Um, Royal Fleet, who's who's uh, 
very decent horse as well. Um, but the but the fact Moore was on him that day. Uh, what you call him didn't even. Uh, Joel didn't take the ride, but uh, Poker Face hasn't. He's three for three. But he he only won a handicap. I said the last day, and in Pontefract, like I know he bet, but beaten Billy Roberts by eight lengths. Billy Roberts was rated seventy two. John Baptiste, like he has to improve a good bit to be in this league. I thought and. He was a good price earlier, but he's still nine to four. But the price is it'll it'll, uh, it'll settle again in the morning. Um, Blue Trail, uh, what do you call him? Is up. Buick is up. I like Buick, but the fact that Appleby is going well, it has won in New American Four, has won on the soft ground. I thought that was a bet tomorrow. Staying in New Market as well. In the last race, there's a sprint. And Al Barras hasn't ran in a while. But he's a decent enough sprinter and he's after having wind surgery. And this is first try at five furlongs. But he's a front runner. Uh, this is in Doncaster. This is a year ago. And the fact that he's going back, he went out in front this day from the start. He led all the way. Alvarez looking to make it three wins from four starts. Close up Mojo Maker with every chance coming to join the leading line. Another investment pushed along and not going the pace. Sit and smile. And they're racing towards the final furlong and a half. Alvarez with the advantage now going on from Mojo Maker. Breeze the far side. Two lengths then to the weakening half. And another investment in Sip and Smile. But it's Alvarez from Mojo Maker, the near side. Bay Breeze keeping on for pressure. The far side. Alvarez though in front as they head well inside the final furlong. But hasn't seen off his rivals. Mojo Maker and on the far side. Bay Breeze. Mojo Maker with a very strong run. Joins Alvarez on the line close between the two. And back in third. Bay Breeze. He's entered. He's entered in a hundred thousand race as well on the sixth of May, so he'd have to get that. He's only rated eighty. What now? Eighty-seven. He'd have to win this, I thought, to get into that race. The fact that he's encountering soft ground shouldn't be an issue because by uh, Dark Angel, out of a fast company mayor. The five furlongs out in front. Um, off you go. He opened up um, two to one. He's still two to one. So I thought that them two were a bet. And a horse that I mentioned the last day that was one to keep an eye on us was Salness. This opened up a two to one shot as well. He was second first time out in a beginner's chase there to Saldir and I was saying to keep an eye on him the next year, but he 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 uh, and after winning I mentioned him again. Uh he went out in front that day, jumped very well in Leprostown. Pushed and shoved along second higher than him Anderson, who's closer in third than Daddy Linda, Brookie and Freddie Robdell, as they jump the second last, heading for the final turn, and it's Sunness the leader, getting a reminder in second is Hayu. About to be rejoined for that spot by him Anderson, Daddy Linda isn't out of it, and then Brookie, a good run to the final fence, and it's Sunness turning in three clear. Of him Anderson and then Daddy Linda, dropping back is Hayu, passed for fourth by Brookie, on the run to the final fence and on the stand side it's Solness in front from him Anderson Daddy Linda the far side then Brookie and they've pushed aside high you one fence left to jump and it is Solness right into the stand side corner leads him Anderson and both gone Daddy Linda and Brookie at Solness with him Anderson keeping on over on the far side but Solness has the measure of him Anderson as Solness makes all in the EBF beginners chase building on a good debut second the step up to another half a mile to two and a half mile shouldn't be an issue. 
we have a horse that won for us the last day in Hexham uh, Shamaron but uh, I don't think he he uh, he's classy enough. We got we got him the day we needed him. Um, he's rated one twenty one. He's a ten year old. Um, he's only getting three pound when he should be getting seven. Silence is only five. Gally Hill, Percy Warner probably might be the danger. Uh, probably would be the danger. Henry is going really well. Money for him already. He opened at twos. He's into 13 today. But that market will settle in the morning. So they are the three for tomorrow. I'm trying to keep it. Uh, Grecian Slipper. Slipper was the one as well I was looking at. But um, I don't know how fit it is. So we'll just do with that. We'll try and keep it. Um, Trying to keep it tight for this week with punches down coming up next week. I'll get the newcomers on the bus hopefully tomorrow. I'll I'll guess um I'll have a bit more time tomorrow. Uh I might shave as well if I get a chance. I didn't realise I looked so scraggy looking. Bash the bookies over and out. <laughs>